Hello, my name is Bart Fannin with Leahy Consulting. Thanks for joining our brief overview of our Pulse Purchase Order Manager software, as well as our sales order portal. I'm currently signed in right now as the buyer within my company in order to interact with purchase orders with particular vendors that we've allowed to have access to our system. Currently right now, I'm able to see at a glance a dashboard of the status particular certain items that we have purchase orders out for with particular vendors. All of these have immediate access into McCola and are reading the data live directly from the files. On my screen right now, I'm able to show you a number of hubs that I have predefined as my particular dashboard. Currently on the left side, I've got items available to me for all buyers, and I've got my action items available. If I look down under my action items, I see I've got 11 items that are waiting on a supplier to respond to. As I click into that, I'll be able to take a look at some specifics on these items and show you a little bit of the layout of the screen. On here, I've got predefined columns available to me. If I would like to change, add, or rearrange those columns, I can choose to. To start, I'm going to click on any of the three dots that are available on here, and I'm going to come down to the word columns. Over on the label field, I've got available to me in a business English setting for all of the fields within our system. So if I wanted to add order weight to my screen, I can just start typing the word order. And then I'm going to check that I would like it to be visible. It's now added to my screen. And if I choose to move that to the very end, all I need to do is drag and drop. And I'm able to view this in any particular order that I want. Another choice is to be able to come over to a particular column and ty start typing any particular name, in this case, for a vendor name. If I type the letters COMP, it gives me any of the matching vendors. I'm going to choose this particular vendor to narrow down my list. Over on the left then, under order number, I'm going to go into order number 24-00 to be able to pull up the purchase order information that we have available to this particular vendor. On here, I have my test company information. Down below are all the particular light items that I have available to be able to see for this particular purchase order. Up above, what I can do here also, if I have authority, is I could edit information on this purchase order. Clicking the edit button would allow me to come down and have access to some of the information below. If I chose to, I could change any of this information as well as the vendor if we give them authority to. So in this case, I might say I'm going to update a promise date on our system. Uh, originally, it was on there as May 30th and I'm going to change it to another date. Let's say it's going to now be May 31st. After I've done this, I'm going to click Save, and this will automatically update into McCullough the promise date that's available. If the vendor were to be doing this for me, I would be receiving a note letting me know I have something to check on to where I could come in and approve this change from the vendor. Coming up here to History, I can see all the interactions that have taken place with this particular purchase order. Notice the one that I just made now, if I open up here, I can see the specifics as to what happened. Over on the left here, I'm able to see the information from the line item directly, and I can see that the promise date received a new value in the particular time that it happened. Any other interactions between me and or the vendor would be listed down below. Closing the history area, I'm gonna open the documents. On documents, I'm able to attach any type of document to this order. Purpose of this is to be able to have a history and a permanent attachment on here of anything that we would like to have. This can be a PDF with a signature on it. It could be a spreadsheet. It could have work instructions, anything in particular that you would like to have associated with this. Uh, once I come down and uh, finish with documents, I can come into notes. From the notes section, we can add any particular notes uh, for the vendor to be able to see. In this case, I'm going to say new promise date OK. Now I'm showing you something pretty generic. I click Save, and I've got checked on here the option to notify. In this case, based on my configuration, this will notify our particular vendor, let them know there's been a change to the purchase order. 
The same would happen if the vendor would do, do the same. I would receive a notification and I would be able to go back and look to see what are some items that I need to check on. So as an example here, we, we've got going down through the items, notice that we went in originally to items waiting on supplier. Then there's ones that are waiting on me. As I click into this, I'm able to see if there's any particular items that I need to respond to. And in this case, for this particular corporation, 41-00, I go and I click in and I know a modification has been made by my supplier on this date, okay? Well, what was that modification? I'm going to open up the history and I'm gonna see a new promise date was put in. Previously, one did not exist and one has been put in. If I chose to, I could approve this particular promise date. Once I've done this, that would update my list back on the screen. Notice it went from one to zero. Now I'm going to switch to our customer order portal. I have signed out of the Pulse Purchase Order Manager portal, and I've signed now in as the customer service rep within our company. And this is to look at our sales order portal. This allows me to interact with any invoices that we have with our customers that we allow collaboration similar to the purchase order manager and our vendors. In this case, I have a hub set up on here that shows open sales orders, invoice sales orders, lost sales quotes, converted quotes, and open quotes. Coming into open sales orders, I'll be able to see any of the sales orders that we have either placed in McCola, or in a moment, I'll show you how to place them within the software here as well. So if I come over here on my list of bill two names, I'm gonna type in the word family. That allows me to subset to family bike shop. I will go into this particular order that was booked and be able to see any of the status or any of the details of the information available here as well. In here, similar to the purchase order portal, I'm able to view any documents associated, any notes that have been added to this system and the full history of it. And down below, I can see the specifics on this particular order. I have one line item for a cleaner and I have a particular requested date, promise date, the quantity that was ordered, the price and the totals are listed then down below. If I chose to, I could actually create an order directly from our system here. Coming up to sales, I can say open sales order create. And if I have authority to do this, I could actually place an order in this system. This can be done by an internal person within my company in our office. This could be done by an outside sales rep, or it could be done by the customer themselves. If you give them authority, you can then decide when it comes into McCullough, what status it will be at. You may choose to have the status on hold. Coming down here, I'm going to select particular customer to, to work with. In this case, I'll choose my Bikerama. Now down below, I'm going to add new items for this particular order. Click on the add new item button, adds a line item here, and I'm going to click on this magnifying glass to choose what it is I would like to purchase. Clicking on tires will allow me to pull in the information for this particular item, and I could say how many tires I would like to purchase. Now, if I have a default price in there, that would show up then as well, and it will use all the Macola typical pricing that we have available in the system. Clicking add new item again, lets me allow to add a second line item. And let's say I would like to add some brackets. Okay. Coming over to the quantity order, I'm gonna add 10 and I'll put in a price of $1 for each. Again, it'll pull in whatever I've got McCola set up in our pricing tables. And once I'm done, I can click save and this will add the order into McCola. This was a brief highlight of both softwares. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team and you can find more information on our website. Thanks again for watching this video.